Hello everyone and welcome to our family building series rock painting. Um, I'm Kelly Craft, program manager at Gildas Club Quad Cities and today I just want to have a conversation about a fun activity called rock painting. Um, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a great activity for kids, adults, whole families together um, and it's really easy and um, a very inexpensive um, activity to do. So the first thing I like to talk about when it comes to rock painting is the reason behind it. There are whole groups uh, dedicated on, you know, on Facebook and um, that get together um, to paint rocks and um, talk about painting rocks. And I think it's a really neat activity to do, especially with kids, because you can really talk about doing something for other people. Um, when I'm painting rocks, I really love to think about the idea of somebody stumbling across this rock and it making their day and them seeing this brightly painted rock and think about um, the you know, the work and the heart that went into it. Um, so if you are feeling like you want to try out painting rocks, all you need is first a rock. Um, I found these three in my backyard. This one did not start out as teal. I pre-painted it so I could um, do a project with you guys today. Um, but other than a rock, you need some paint brushes. I like to have one thicker one to be able to paint um, the whole rock at once and one thinner one to do some details. You can also use, um, you know, some Sharpies or paint pens um, if you want to do more detailed work. There's really no limit to what you can do. And then you also need some paint. Um, acrylic paints are usually the best for, um, for painting on rocks. I have these ones. Um, I'm not even sure what brand they are anymore. Um, but you can get acrylic paint really cheap anywhere. Michaels, Walmart, um, online really anywhere that you um, that sells any sort of craft supplies, you can get acrylic paints. Um, you can get them at garage sales. Um, your family may, you know, grandma or grandpa may have some around just from some old crafts. Um, but acrylic paint is a really common one, really easy one to find. Um, and what I like to start doing um, is I find my rocks. Um, the Any size works. Um, and then you wash them. You definitely don't want to leave them dirty. Obviously, you don't want to paint over mud and dirt. Um, so always rinse um, and wash your rocks before you start painting with them and make the final product look um, a lot better. And all, I, I don't even know what types of rocks these are. Um, so any type of rock works. I actually think this might have been a ball of concrete, which is fine. Um, really any type works. I really love this one because I found it and it was shaped like a heart already. So I have an idea of painting this one kind of a pink or a red. Um, I personally like to pre-paint a rock. And so I paint it all one color so that I can do details on top with another color. Um, so I sometimes do them in more than one session. So this one, I painted this beautiful teal this morning. Um, and this one, I think I'm gonna do um, in kind of a red here. Um, so make sure your table's nice and covered too. There's no way to not get paint all over the place and make sure you have some water um, around for your paintbrush and really just have fun with it. There's no rhyme or reason or way that you have to go about painting a rock. Just have fun. And I like to, while I'm doing it, think about, um, you know, what the person who might find this rock would think. Um, because the fun thing about painting rocks is it's a two-part activity. So you get to paint the rock together with your loved ones or just by yourself if it's something that relaxes you. Um, I'm of course getting paint all over my hands. Um, and then once they're dry and ready, you get to really kind of walk around with that rock, maybe at a local park or dropping it off at a love, in a loved one's garden. Um, being mindful, of course, of lawnmowers. Big rocks can really be a pain for lawnmowers. Um, so being mindful of that, but otherwise, um, thinking about where you might leave this so that someone will find it and it will make their day. Um, so this one is now painted all red. I'm going to let it dry and then later I will come back and do maybe a little bit more detail on it. Some people like to do different things. I like to do kind of basic, um, fun, bright color designs. Um, I'm not good at doing kind of the intricate details. Um, but some people really like to do, you know, cool patterns or whole paintings on them, getting really detailed. Some people like to do quotes on them, which I think is really cool. I don't have that kind of finesse with a paintbrush, but if you had like a pink pen or something like that, that would work really, that would probably be really neat. So on this one that I painted this morning and let dry, because you can't really paint 
to, um, you can't do new paint over paint that's not dry. It'll just kind of run together. So if you're doing two coats like this, make sure that you let it dry really good before you do things on top of it. And like I said, I like to do kind of fun, simple things. So I was just thinking some really neat little polka dots. This is the purple I'm doing over this teal all over it. In my mind, this is supposed to look like some kind of, you know, fantastical dinosaur egg that somebody will find um, and make their day. So while you're sitting at home painting your rocks with your family, just think about what the person who finds that rock, what they might think, the smile that might come on their face when they find it. Um, and maybe that will get them to think of uh, painting rocks for other people. So it's kind of a pay it forward thing if you've ever found a rock. Um, again, a really quick, easy, fun um, activity for the whole family. Um, Keep, keep tabs on all of our virtual programs that we have going on. You can sign up for anything we have available at guildersclubqc.org slash calendar. Thanks.